Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. And, you know, these little electronic things I've been tossing together aren't all that exciting, but they're kind of fun and they're kind of teaching me little basic things about electronics and maybe they'll be inspiring to you to get together with your kids or whatever and tinker something together. I've uh, been a telescope maker and been interested in optics and light for a long period of time. And uh, one thing I've never actually done is actually make a light-based communicator. So I dug around in my toolbox a little bit and tried to find uh, some parts for something that I could make uh, a really simple uh, light-based transmitter out of. And I had all the wrong parts, and it still worked. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little feedback on it. Um, over here I have a 9-volt battery, which is passing through a resistor back there behind the LED. And uh, normally it would just power the LED directly, so it's just uh, the resistor is in series just current limiting to the, to the uh, LED. But in addition, I also have this yellow clip lead, which is attached to a random capacitor. I think it's 220 microfarads, which is completely the wrong value. But that's also placed uh, feeding the point between the resistor and the uh, LED. And uh, this actually goes wiring around to my GE Super Radio 2. So this is an audio source. I actually don't have it turned on right now. And totally separate from this, I have my Radio Shack powered speaker, which has a little uh, antenna lead, which is just wired to a completely ordinary LED. There's no battery in here. There's no electronics. There's just an LED feeding into an amplifier. And um, in most of the light-based communicator circuits you'll see, um, you'll see something like a solar cell or a photo cell, like a selenium photo cell. I thought I had one of those lying around in my junk, cell, junk box and was going to use it, but I can't find it. But what I did remember is that, if, that uh, LEDs will actually generate a small amount of current if you actually illuminate them. So the idea is that the audio signal comes from the radio, goes into the, the uh, one side of the... Of the uh, of the glowing LED, the one right there, that you can see is glowing, and uh, the current will vary based upon the audio voltage that's being applied into the into the one side of the LED, and then the other LED will pick up the light from this and will um, turn it into an audio signal because the current through it will vary, and it'll go through this amplifier. Now it's not the most efficient thing in the world. Uh, this is a really bright LED. It actually hurts my eyes to go in. And the sensor one is just a random one off the, the shelf, but if I go over here and I power on my radio. You can probably hear some weird... You can see as I move this in and out. Hopefully, I'll turn this so you can hear it maybe a little better into the microphone. So this had no chance of working. Actually, it's easier if I move the transmitter underneath it. And if I turn up the volume, yeah. So you can actually hear audio music, and as I tune the radio, well, there's not a lot of stations I can pick up in here. You may be able to see the main LED flickering a little bit. That's because it's actually amplitude modulating. Anyway, while well, this is kind of a fun little project, I hope it's been of some interest. Someday I'll actually get a selenium cell and maybe play around with this a little more and or improve the amplitude modulator that uh, is actually the, the main LED. But in the meantime, you can hear it actually transmitting light over You can hear it's pretty distorted because I'm clipping now, but but it works. Anyway, this is an LED based light transmitter. Hope this has been of some interest to you. This is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. Have a good evening.